In this video, I'd like to share with you a very simple Qigong exercise and routine that can relax your tense shoulders, help your breathing, and might even lift your spirits. Hi, I'm Jeff Chand, acupuncturist, practitioner of traditional Chinese medicine and Qigong instructor. This very simple exercise is common in a lot of different Qigong traditions, and it has a few different names. The exercise is called flying bird or flying crane. The movement looks like a bird flying, and we can just envision a large bird, or a bird with large wings, I mean. Not a big bird, but a bird with very large wings that are swooping and flying in the air. So I'll show you the exercise first, and we'll do a nice simple routine afterwards. So here's the flying bird or flying crane. So that's the flying crane or flying bird. Let's discuss some of the details. Now, as always, we start in the ready position where we feel very comfortable and grounded. Main thing to remember is if we keep our knees slightly bent, we don't lock them out, we just try to stand comfortably. You may need to adjust your weight back and forward, adjust your hips and back so you feel strong and stable, but just listen to your body and find that strong position for yourself. Now the movement is we sink the weight down and we breathe in as the hands come up to level the shoulder first. Then we breathe out as we slowly sink the, hand, the weight down and let the hands slowly come down. Then we breathe in again one more time and instead of stopping at the shoulders, we let the hands go all the way up and then we breathe out and then we sink the weight down. Breathe in, hands come up to level the shoulder, breathe out, hands go down. Breathe in, hands go all the way up above the head and breathe out. So that's the exercise. It's basically two movements, two flaps of our wings. One, the first uh, flap is up to the level of the shoulder and then down. The second one is all the way above the head and down. Now, as we demonstrated it, as I demonstrated it, you notice that there's probably a one-legged stance. So the traditional way to do it is actually with a one-legged stance. But the purpose of this type of approach to Qigong is to help our health, our wellness, and let our Qi move. So if you can stand on one leg and balance yourself, then you can practice in this sort of way. So instead, now we breathe in and we stand on one leg, bring our knee up comfortably high. We don't have to lift it up to our, our forehead or anything. Just, just bring it up, balance yourself. And we breathe out, put the leg down. Now, if you want to, you can put it all the way down, or you can just lightly touch it down, like coming down softly like a bird just touching the ground. Second repetition, we come back up, hands go above the head, just the same, and now hand, the knee comes up again. And they come back down, and now this time it lands firmly on the ground. Then we do the other side. Breathe in, and out. Breathe in, and out and firmly planted and other side. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in and breathe out. So you can listen to your body, try to figure out what's right for you. If you can, over time, just try to get to the point where you can stand using one leg, but take your time, use a chair, use a table or a counter or couch so that you have balance so you feel safe. So if you're all ready to begin, let's just do a nice simple routine now. Begin in the ready position. Just take three deep natural breaths. And relax. Take a nice little wide stance and begin with parting the clouds. Breathe in as the hands come up the center of the body, palms facing upwards, turn the palms forward. Breathe out as the hands go out and around. 
Breathe in, hands come up the center of the body. Turn forward, breathe out, and slowly sink the weight down. This exercise is good for helping to wake up the chi circulation in the entire body. It begins to increase circulation of chi in the neck and the shoulders. It engages the legs and just wakes up the body. And two more, allow your chi to move. Allow yourself to just relax. Leave any problems at the door. And one more. Wonderful. Now adjust your feet, find a comfortable position. And flying crane. Breathe in, hands coming up to the level of the shoulders. Breathe out, soften and let go of the arms, sink down. Breathe in, hands go above the head as high as they can. Breathe out, release the chest, release the shoulders and slowly sink down. Breathe in, come up to the level of the shoulders. If you can use one leg, that's okay, good. Breathe in and breathe out. Good, continue on your own, alternate your legs. Relax your shoulders, relax your neck. Let your chest and your back feel spacious. Release any tension that you're holding around the heart, the lungs, the throat. Release any excess of tension in the shoulders and arms and just find your sense of flow. Good, two more. Feeling light as a bird, soaring on the air, maybe rising on the currents, the warm air beneath your wings, feeling supported and lifted by the earth below you, the air below you. Last one, breathing in, inspiring, good, healthy chi. Breathe out, release any tension in the arms, shoulders, neck, and back. Breathe in. And breathe out. Good, and three opening exercises. Breathing in, enjoying that feeling of lightness that you created in your own body. Breathing in, allowing yourself to just feel good, to feel happy. And last one. Breathing in, allowing yourself to feel full of life, energy, good thoughts, creativity, good healing energy, and feeling full of vitality.
and you're all done. You can practice this series once or even twice a day. It's a great routine to use in the middle of the day if you feel a lot of tension in the neck, but really just try to engage and explore that feeling of that lightness as a bird would feel as if it is flying. This is part of uh, animal style Qigong where we mimic animals in nature. We watch them, we study them, and then we try to emulate that physically and then even almost energetically we just try to get into the, the same mental emotional field of different animals. This ends up being very healing for our own body, our mind, and our spirit as well. Let me know in the comment section below, what did you experience with this practice? Did you notice that feeling of lightness or that expansion in the chest and in the heart? I love hearing from you. So just keep practicing, keep moving your chi and sharing your abundant, wonderful, healthy chi with the entire world because that's what we need right now. And if you enjoy the style of Qigong, please come join us in the community where you can meet lots of like-minded people who also create lots of good, healthy, positive chi to share with the entire world. We'd love to have you there. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time. If you've enjoyed this style of Qigong, please come join the community for a wide variety of Qigong routines that's ideal for beginners or if you already have some experience. The community has convenient, simple Qigong practices that are safe, gentle, and effective to help you feel healthy and full of vitality. Come join us today. If you haven't already, be sure to sign up for a newsletter in the link below so we can notify you when we release new YouTube videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.